It is Tequila Tuesday. Yes, it is. And today we're going to do some um, RT Nam 1123. The sad thing about this situation is I've never had RT Nam 1123, but I got multiple bottles. I was just looking at these bottles a second ago. And guess what? This one is lot 77. This is lot 391. I'm not sure how many lots are in between it or like, does that tell like when I bought it? I didn't try to look on the date, but I'll check that out later. But um, I think I'm gonna go with the, the one that looks like more like a Blanco. These are both Blancos. They're aged less than 30 days in, um, they say X mezcal barrel. So it may have a little smoky, little smoky ring to it. But um, some people may be wondering, why is this one this dark? Why is this one that color? And they're both considered bl Blancos. It's because as long as it's under 60 days, it is considered Blanco. So 59 days, pretty much good to go. Um, they have another one back here somewhere. It's a Blanco. This is rested in wine cast and it gives you this nice color. I think that one is probably like 45 days if I'm not mistaken though. Um, so it's a month that guy they up here. But anywho, let's get on to cracking this open because I, I promise you I've never had Artenom 1123 and I love the brand. So um, I didn't even know about the Mezcal barrels until I was just looking to it a second ago which is interesting and how to open this. All right, so um, they use roller mill for this um, tequila. Um, I just talked about the barrels. Um, they rest it in cement tanks. But if you've been there, I, this conversation came up. If you've been there, it's not just raw cement tanks. There's like some kind of like lacquer, like some like over the cement. So it's not just like raw, like raw cement tanks. So I don't know what that is. I can smell this already. I can already smell the agave. Yep. The, the Costco in profile that we, <laughs> that most of us love that I love for sure. Definitely get minerals. Um, you get the agave little, it smells a little earthy too. Um, I can see how people may get smoke from it. I'm getting more, um, agave minerals. It's kind of like kind of salty, honestly. like an olive brine um, flavor. Pepper, oh, it's definitely pepper on a finish going out. The pepper is like up there. Just another good bottle to have. One thing I do like about the RT Nam 1120, well, honestly, just about all the RT Noms, but I've always seen these bottles in the store. They're not hard to find, not hard to get. They're not like overloved to where people are just buying all of them. So you can usually see a RT Nam bottle in the store, which I like, and they're pretty solid prices. I'm pretty sure I paid pretty good prices for these. I'm looking forward to trying this one now. I can see where those barrels may have had like a little influence, but it's not too crazy though. Um, but this is definitely on the agave mineral pepper side for me, black pepper to be specific. But it still tastes crisp and clean. But yeah, the minerals, this is like, this is my type of tequila. This is perfect for today. It's cold, it feels good in my house. This is like nice. So happy Tequila Tuesday. If you see some Martin Alm, I think it's absolutely the worth to try. I'm looking forward to trying this one. I'll do this at another time because I want to like compare them together and see like what was the difference between these two lots and you know, what's what. But anywho, y'all have a good day. Hey, it's me again. Uh, no, Mike. But anywho, as I'm drinking it more, I just finished like the last of my, my second sip that I poured. I get more of the smokiness on the finish as well, but it finishes so clean very 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 clean and it is really good so i gotta pour a third because now i'm probably about to go through a third of the bottle you know no i'm not gonna do that <laughs>